Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a post-it note effect. So we're from, I hope you're familiar with uh, post-it notes and these are the physical notes, little sticky notes that you write on, you post it, the other side has an adhesive, you post it anywhere. You can make this kind of simulated post-it note and put it into your PowerPoint presentations and I'll show you how to do it, it's actually quite simple. Let's open up a new slide, so I'll go a new slide and in this slide, let me close this pane here in the slide I'm just going to insert a square. So you can either insert a square from your drawing group under home, these are the most recent ones I have, or you go to insert and you have your shapes here which have a bunch of shapes here. So I'm just going to go with the home ribbon here and select my square. Even though it says rectangle you can actually turn it into a square. So if I select that, in order to turn it into a square I need to press the shift key and it's going to draw a uniform square instead of a rectangle. So this is going to be the right size. And what I need to do now is give it that yellowish color. So for that, I'm going to pick, uh, actually there's there's the standard colors that doesn't really have it. So, and I created a color here. What I can do is click on yellow and then maybe change it a little bit. Right click and go under fill and go under more fill colors. And let's see what I can do to change it. Now, the yellow that's probably closest to what you see is probably this one here. Let me click OK. And it looks just right. Now, by default, there's also a border color which we don't need. And that border color is this blue color. I don't need that border color, so I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to say no outline. So that outline has gone. So this is actually pretty good. All I need to do now is change this into an image. Right now, this is a draw, a, an object. It's a square object. What I can do is Control X to cut it, Control V, and I'm going to paste it back as an image. I'm going to select this option. It's going to paste it back as a picture. Now, when I have this picture and I go into the format, there's different options I can choose now. So, with this particular picture style, I'll just use the default picture style, which we have here, where it's going to. Actually, I'm probably use this one. This is the this is the rotated white one. And it has a border here, and we don't really need that border, so I'm going to get rid of that border. Once this is selected, click on that drop down and say no outline. So now we have our post it note, right? So I can put some kind of wording here. Let me put a text here and say, let's write something like this is a new post, post it, right? Oh, that's supposed to be, let's make this two to uh, a space there and I need to rotate it so it looks like it looks like it matches the rotation of the note and also since this is going to simulate a post-it note probably it's gonna, that's going to be done in handwriting so I'm gonna choose a different font and let's see what we got here let's, let's use this handwriting font right and make it a little bit bigger let's make that a little bit bigger and I'll center it and here's my post-it note now you've noticed in the earlier I had a little thumbtack there. Now you can go online and try to copy a thumbtack from anywhere, but you can actually create your own. So I'll show you how to create your own thumbtack. It's also a bunch of different shapes. And the shapes that I'm going to use is going to be cylinders or and ovals. So I'm going to take an oval here. I'm going to draw it out a little bit. I'm going to draw it kind of big because then I can just uh, decrease the size a little bit. After that is selected, I'm going to give it a, let's give it a red color. Let's give it a red color, this dark red color. And I don't want it to have an outline either. So that's going to be the top. The bottom part is going to be a cylinder. And let me select the cylinder here. And I'm going to draw a cylinder here. Let's see. And also make that the same color. Click that. No shape, no shape outline. So now I've got that there. And I need to get a bottom part. Usually for thumbtacks, there's also a bottom so the bottom oval there. I'm just going to copy this one, the top part. Control D to duplicate that and to put that at the bottom. And usually these are a little bit bigger. So I'll stretch that out a little bit and kind of center it. Now you can see that there's kind of a, 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 a an outline, different color here. And I don't need that color. I want to have this first oval be on top of it. So these are actually kind of like layers. I'm going to select this right click and send it to the front bring to the front and now that thing is gone so now you have the top of it so what I want to do now is create that pin and I can still use this cylinder to create that pin because there's going to be a cylindrical portion of that pin I'll select this again 
and draw it out here and give it a color. Let's give that a gray color. It's going to be a dark gray color and no shape outline. Now I need to make this really thin. So I'm going to reduce that size. Let's see how far I can reduce it and bring it here into the middle. You can see PowerPoint's kind of nice when you kind of move it around. You see that that little line that kind of tells you it's kind of centered within this image. So that looks pretty good now. And this is going to go into the back because I don't want that line sticking out. So right click and send it to the back. Right. So now it's a thumbtack. What I can do is select the whole image, group it, control G will group it and I can rotate it and I can bring it down to size. Let's see. Let me control Z. That didn't look too good. Let me press the shift key and see if I can bring it down to size without messing up the other aspects of it right now. So that looks like it's pretty good. So I can move it over here and then I've got my thumbtack now. Right. So that's my thumbtack and my post-it note. So that's the way that we can create a post-it note and also simulate and this is a little bit extra. Also simulate a thumb a thumbtack where you posted it on something. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.